Hey, Jack, you ready to go for a ride? Let's go. Jimmy is uh, been on the vlog a few a few times, ex uh, special air service legend and uh, mad CrossFitter, and we've just stopped at the Elwood. I don't know what you'd call it. It's like a Venice Beach gym. Bar park. What is it? Bar park. Bar park. It's called a bar park. So um, people come down here. It's like a free gym on the beach, just to get your rig out and just show off and stuff. So. I'm actually going to stop here, uh, lift some lift some heavy ferg uh, on those bars and just do some chin-ups and stuff and uh, just get a bit of a workout in. James is holding the camera, but how long ago? I used to be able to do a muscle-up, mm. didn't I? Yeah. Yeah? Some point as well. let's, let's have a crack and see if I can still do one. I don't think it's going to happen, but I'm going to give it a go. Okay, you may be asking, what is a muscle-up? This, uh, this YouTube channel, Official Thenx. Uh, is a good calisthenics YouTube channel. He basically shows you, not that I do calisthenics, but I do know how to do muscle-ups. But this guy is an absolute beast. He's doing muscle-ups here, as you can see, with a weight between his legs. Now, obviously, I've got something similar going on because I'm carrying it around my waist. But essentially, a muscle-up is a chin-up on a chin-up bar. And then when you get to the chin-up, you just keep going and you push yourself up and do a, a dip so to speak, on top of the bar. So it's the combination of those two movements. So here we go. I'm going to give it a crack. What do you reckon the chances are? I reckon they're one in 430,000. Really? Yeah. Fuck. Oh. Very slippery, isn't it? That, that's my excuse so far. That's weird. That's weird. One in 430,000. All right, I'm determined to do one. <laughs> nah. That wasn't even a chin up. <laughs> Mate, can you believe I used to be able to string those fuckers together? I used to be able to string them together. That's tears. What was that called? Handstand. Yeah, what, what sort of handstand? Straddle, handstand. That's crazy. How, how long did it take you to be able to do that? Uh, probably a good six to eight months of daily practice. Really? Yeah. Whoa! Yep. And that's a very hard thing to do? Um, it is for an adult. Yes. Like who doesn't, you know, when you don't have... Um, wrist and shoulder and elbow mobility like it takes a long time for an adult to learn how to do a handstand kids do it easy because they've got a low center of gravity their joints are nice and flexible mm. but it takes it takes a lot of work like yeah and literally I like I would do something every day to to, to get there uh, you've been coming here a while yeah I've, I've lived in the Elwood St Kilda area for I don't know like over 15 years, I think. Yeah. Um, I've always loved to come down by the water. 
yeah. for a workout. Uh, initially it started off with just the basic chin ups and squats and things and then I started seeing people doing crazy stuff like muscle ups and human flags and started to take an interest in you know calisthenics. Um, so uh, yeah I've just been having a lot of fun with that. Um, it's a great park, not many places like this in this area so it's beautiful to come out here on a sunny afternoon. No matter how weak or overweight or whatever you feel you are, uh, there's always some regressed simpler version of each exercise you can work on as you build a foundation of strength and then over time you start to notice your progress and you make it a little bit more challenging and yeah when I first tried to muscle up I just cramped up everywhere and completely failed and and uh, you know had to really start from scratch yeah. it took me about a year and a half of concerted effort before I could do my first one and I was already a pretty fit strong guy so yeah. I, I was very humbled by the process but like it's so worth it it's really fun All right, so we've stopped. We've got a, uh, a Bolter XPA, which uh, I can highly recommend. Gonna get you. How'd you go, little man? You had a good time? He did so well. High five. High five. High five. High five. <laughs> you did so well, Jack. <laughs> Don't be creepy. He's tired steering. Yay! <laughs> All right, let's get you out of this. So I reckon he did really well. He grizzled a little bit on the way home, but other than that, he was perfect. He had an absolute ball and that seat, like we paid full retail for this seat from the Bicycle Superstore. And uh, mate, that seat is so awesome. Little strap there and so, and it just locks on there. The good thing about that is you don't need a pannier rack, it actually locks on, you can see it locks on there to the down tube. So, um, so you don't need a pannier rack and it comes on and off really easily. So what do you do? Just, lift just pull the, that up. Pull that up and it reclines. How good is that? And this little strap here comes over and it just comes over his head and just plugs straight in there like that. So, and you just use those to tighten it. All right, so that was a really cool story about the rack. Everybody loves a cool story and that was probably up there as far as cool stories go. Good story, good story. But um, Good to be back making videos again. It's been a month since we made a video and uh, a lot has happened in that month. Probably the most noticeable of all the changes in the last month is the weather. Uh, in Australia, we're coming into winter. Obviously, if you're from Europe and UK, you're going into summer, you lucky bastards. But um, yeah, we're coming into winter here in Australia and it is definitely getting cold in Melbourne. Last weekend, we had torrential rain and uh, I picked up the camera because I just wanted to show someone. Hannah and I went to the uh, the Tiny House Festival up in Bendigo. Um, it was actually quite funny because I do spend a lot of time watching videos on YouTube. And we were looking at uh, sprinter vans and just as a fun camper thing, just as a, a new project for me to take on, uh, to, to buy a, either a sprinter, you know, like a sprinter van or something like that and convert it into a a house on wheels so just with your you know a bed and some cooking stuff and just to go on little adventures there are a lot of people there's this whole movement van life movement on youtube where people are converting vans and then living in uh, that's probably not going to be suitable for me and my little family uh, we're pretty happy with our setup here but definitely i'd like to do something like that just for adventures
Uh, what else has been happening? Jack, uh, mate, so much has been happening with our little boy. He has grown up so quickly. We've been putting little clips on Instagram here and there, and people have been responding and saying, God, I cannot believe how quickly that kid has grown up. Happy birthday to you. Hip hop. Hooray. You play the sound? We go. <laughs> <laughs> So it just so happens we also had the camera out uh, when he took his first steps. Now, occasionally what he's been doing is Hannah and I will hold him and then he'll take a couple of steps to us while we're sitting on the couch and stuff. And that's pretty impressive. But this is the first ever footage of Jack standing up on his own. So standing just in the middle of the floor, stood up and started walking. Good boy. Good boy. Holy shit. He Good just stood boy. up on his own. <laughs> he stood up on his own and then walked. How on earth is that? And you got it all on camera. I got it all on camera. You've know, been recording. Come here, Bubba. Come here, Come here. Come here. He's back. He's found Come his here. roof. Woohoo! Good boy! Good boy! You're clever sausage! Wow! Are you gonna run? Oh my god, that was so good! Oh, good boy! That was so strong, that walk. Just there. And so, yeah, pretty cool uh, to watch your little boy evolve and sort of grow and learn. And um, it's a pretty amazing thing. I'm really enjoying fatherhood now. As, I, as I've said to you guys in the past, I struggled in the early days. But now that he's really st starting to engage with us, I'm absolutely loving it. So um, awesome stuff.